Now, these are Latin is, terms, and these, yeah? these are not Latin, Latin terms, yeah? these are Greek terms. It's Greek terms, right. Persona and Essen, uh, Essentia, those are Latin terms, and those terms have been used in the Western church today, which is completely fine. Okay. But the terms that I use, insofar as I like to be more historical with my um, explication of theology, would simply be usia and hypostasis. So those terms are in the Bible, yes. Okay, okay, so go back, where is it in the Bible? Then? It is fine, yeah. Let me just... Show me again, this is talking in reference to the Trinity. It just as you, I, ask, you asked me... One it, second, you spoke... And I I didn't oh, if you're if you're gonna ask a question, that's as fine. As soon as I open my mouth, you start speaking. Now the reason you can't have a discussion. Okay. Sick like I think it. Huh? Uh, let's see if he's alright. Can we try only for the sake of discussion sake, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we don't speak over each other. If, I, if you stop me, yeah? I, I, if it's I sensible, that, I can submit to that. If I stop you, just to, you know, if it's sensible, I can submit to that as well, yeah? Just for the flow of discussion. Are you with me, Sig? I'm, I'm just trying to say. Are you with me? Hello, Sig. Yes. I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I'm just getting the thing for you. Okay, anyway, uh, the whole contention was hey. there. What the word, word, Trinity and the ideas found in the Bible. Bible. Not necessarily. You said, I don't like yeah, yeah, not necessarily. Let's let's try to let each other speak. Yeah, right? but if you're going no, like, no, to misrepresent the issue, I'm, no, no, I'm no, no, no. You, is this is exactly what you did just a few seconds ago. If there hasn't been a single segment issue, where I've spoken, you haven't really interrupted me. Anyway, in regards to Tawheed, regards to the Shahada, again, I showed you in the Quran. Your claim is not in the Quran. I showed you it's in the Quran. You tried to discount the Sunni tradition. Uh -huh. I showed you in the Hadith of Jibreel, it's also there. It's clear. The, the reading, the understanding, the words are there. The word Shahada is used. It says it in the Quran. Muhammad Rasulullah says that in the Quran. It says it in the Hadith of Jibreel, where it says, Kunna jalisun ma Rasul. Anyway, going so from oh, your claim against Islam was wrong. My claim against or my question to you was regards to the words used in the Trinity of essence and persons. Yeah. Where do you find those ideas in the way it's formulated in the Trinitarian Creed in the Bible? Up to now, you've not been able to say it. You spoke, you spoke, you spoke. The moment I said it's a progressive revelation, you said, no, hang on, Hillary and these guys, the Capitol, it's not a progressive revelation. That's not what I said. It means it must be there from the very beginning. It means that you it mentioned must be one second, it must one be second. You were unable yeah. to substantiate on multiple times with these words that you made up for the Trinity, yeah? Your whole basis of your belief is not there to be found we in the Bible. We substantiated that, I just no, need no, the concept. No, you didn't. You, yes, I've asked did. you, you put your phone away. That's the reason Why did you put away. your phone away? Huh? Why did you think it's I didn't focus, know? It's a focus on what you're saying. No, you wasn't focusing all this time, all of a sudden. Well, yeah, but I thought that continue, there could be more continue, of a continue, continue, continue. Do you want me to put my phone and start focusing? Find, find it, no problem. That's fine. No problem. I mean, I can do the same. I can do, I can do hypostasis look, right look, now. But you've done the same thing to me. I pulled it out. I can show you hypostasis right now. You've done this, no. In the Bible, in regards to the Trinity, show us. Yeah. I thought you stopped searching, You will never be able to find the formulation of the Trinity in the Bible. Will in you fact, be able to find the word hypostasis in the Bible? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll tell you where, where, when it's used. Yeah. It's used when Paul comes up to James, and James, who is the companion of Jesus, he goes to Paul and says, the people say, you have apostatized yeah, yeah. from the law of Moses. I said hypostasis, not apostatized. Okay, well, that's what I have. Let hypostasis. Me Let, what does uh, hypostasis, what does that hypostasis. Do you speak Greek, by Underlying way? reality. Do you speak Greek? I don't speak mono-Greek, Okay, no. why are you putting on an accent for? That's the way it's pronounced. No, the way, okay, go on. The way, I just want to be fair to the pronunciation, no, no, okay, you know. There the, might be Greeks the, watching. I just that's want to be fair important to you. Anyway, the point is you still have no I'm still waiting for Yeah, the Hebrews one three for hypostasis. I wanted to find a That's not the as New well. Testament. What's Hebrews Wait, got to do with Hebrews is not the New Testament? No, no, it, no that's what it is. It's the New Testament. Who what are you wrote, talking about? Who, okay, sorry. Who wrote Thank Hebrews? You. Who wrote Hebrews? Hebrews? Yeah. Okay, so for me, in regards to Nobody knows this an unknown or can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Don't play. Can I finish? Yeah. Okay, good. So this is very important. So, the modern eclectic tradition would argue that it is unknown, insofar as when they look at the titles of the text, it wouldn't actually say Paul's name or something like that. However, according to, hold on, according to right, the ancient tradition of the church, we would be able to substantiate through the writings of the fathers, through the writings of the fathers, that actually it was written by Paul, but Paul just did not emanate you know his what, name on the title. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah, but he, yeah, but he slow, was slow, 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 slow. Yeah, could you respond you know, to the point that I said? Slow down. Hebrews. So I mean, what, what was look, the response that so I gave the you? The claim was that yeah. this word is found in Hebrews. Now my uh, my anti claim or counter claim is you don't even know who wrote Hebrew. How does that have anything to do yes, with whether it's in the New Testament? Yes, because how can someone how can someone who never knew you don't know the author? How, how does that have well, anything to do with whether it's in the NT? Sick. Let me answer you. Okay, that's fine. It's pretty obvious. If I grab the book and say to you, this book says that this man is a tree, would you believe it? 
I would believe the book says it. No. Yes. I would believe the book says it. You don't know who authored it. How do you Why know this? Do, you know, do you know? How do you know? Who? If you don't know who How do I know that the book says it? It's in there. You know, it's like it's in the pages. Calm down. Here's the issue that we have. You ask me, can I find it term who was this and who in the Bible? So I've got a place in the New Testament. So this is the issue. You said you asked. Yeah, you asked me this. Can you find the terms for Bostasis, Usia, and In regards and to yeah. the Trinity. Yeah, good. So, the you regards, still haven't done so the regards to the Trinity, yeah, that. I said Hebrews 1 no, verse no, 3, no, that is where the okay, term for no, Bostasis is used. No, so, no, in this regards is the, yes, to the Trinity. The Trinity is a conception. No, no. In relation to that conception, okay. Bostasis is found. Hebrews 1 verse 3, of the is same the question Bostasis the question as the Father. Three. In regards to the Trinity, can you show yes. me these words of essence? Yes. And the, the regard person. of the Trinity is now, the conception, isn't now it? Now you're saying Hebrews, yeah? Let's say yeah. just Bron for the sake of Bronson, I know it's not there. It is actually there. It's not. It's it, not. The hypostasis is there. You don't know. For the camera, who? it's Hebrews 1 verse Hebrews 3. Hypostasis is mentioned there. Thanks. Excuse me. Can you I, stop I just, I just, I just want to let people know that Sig, it's can actually you stop in there. Over speaking. That, that's I'm fine. Yeah, I'm going to give you a chance to read from that verse, yeah? Okay. It says hypostasis there. The word translated into English is substance, but it actually means an underlying reality. In regards to the Trinity, show me what these words, persons, and uh, essences there. He, says, and he keeps on Ushio. changing my question. We're going to see what it is. Yeah, hypostasis and Usia. Now he yeah. says, oh, it's in Hebrew. But then he, he, what he doesn't want to tell you, though he knows, is that nobody knows who authored Hebrew. Not there necessarily. isn't a scholar worth his dime that says Hebrews were written by Paul. There isn't Paul a modern... Has, how, how many letters is there in Yeah, Paul's there isn't... A, there, there isn't Paul has a okay, bunch so of there writing, isn't anyone yeah, that used reason to, eclecticism. Are you going to just talk... I was going to respond to the point. No, so there's no yeah, one that... Yeah, hello, hello, I haven't finished. There's no one that hello, uses hello, reason eclecticism. Yeah, there's sick, no one that uses sick, reason sick. eclecticism Are you going to be rude all the way through this discussion? You're just accusing me of being rude anyway. Are you going to be rude? Is there anyone discussion. that mentions, sick, right? Sick, okay. sick, sick, so there are people okay. in Can reason eclecticism that we'll are agreeing with what you're saying. Go back to the discussion. But, show however, us now. It does not mean where that those are the Trinity, only scholars who have persons, These terminologies you use for the idea of the I Trinity. Should, in the Bible, right? Three persons in one essence in the Bible. I'll let, give you yeah, the Yeah, Hebrews 1 verse 3, which read is it, in read the Bible. Read it, read it, read it. So this is important. Before I open up the text, I want to say something. I'm not preaching. I'm giving the same amount of conception that I'm saying. Again, remember. Remember, oh, if he's a, if verse, he's asked, yeah, right, that's fine. The if verse. you're saying in regards to the Trinity, that means in regards to the conception of the Trinity. One of the points of conception of the Trinity is that the Son is equal in essence to the Father, or that He is begotten from the Father. Okay. If I can find that conception, <laughs> that's not what the Trinity. That is part that's of the not, Trinity. That, I'm not saying part so of the Trinity. Yes, the conception no, of the Trinity. That's not the Trinity. Wait, wait. Do what? you know what the Trinity is? Part of wait, wait. Do you know what the Trinity is? I need to yes. understand yeah, this yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the Trinity? Good. That's no, 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 you're going to hold me oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't that's change fine, it. Fine, this is like fine. the fourth time you tried to hide that. No, the only reason is, is explain, that I can focus okay, on Explain on what your understanding of the Trinity is. Right. So the understanding because, of the because, Trinity is as follows. Second, let me just that hello. God is hello, one hello, in Hussein and that he preaching, is three in Hupostasis. That I'll is actually what I'm saying. One second, Sig. You ask me a question and then as soon as I open my mouth, you need to clarify something. Let me refine the question. Okay, that's fine, you can refine the question. We want to know what your definition of the Trinity is. I was literally about to say that. Yeah, I know, but you don't need to talk. Huh? I just on, elevated my voice for the time. Leave the preaching aside, Sig. Go I'm not it. preaching. Show us from the Bible this Trinity. Yeah, so let's show me let me show you from the Bible yeah. one of the conceptions. And that's of the not Trinity. the definition of Trinity by any standard of stretch, but who, who, what? the definition of Trinity. Show me. It's not that God is one in Usi and three in Hypostasis? Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. But yeah, what so, else so is, this it? is that okay. they are? Yes, that, and it's very important, what? that one of huh? the persons is begotten from the Father, okay. one of the persons is unbegotten, huh? and one of those persons is also spirated from the Father. Some articulate from the Father, the Son doesn't really necessarily matter. Now, the oh, old, so, 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 I'm going to so, say, so, I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna so, say more, I'm going to say more. Begotten, I just want to get a hold, to understand that. Begotten according to you, unbegotten. Yeah, yeah? Bego begotten in one, It's not preceded. Yeah, it's not preceded, no? Yes, one precedes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, you so never said that though. Yeah, I said one okay, was begotten, okay. one was one unbegotten, begotten, and one precedes. One precedes. That's exactly yeah, what I said. Okay. Yeah, one, yeah. Is, uh, one, yeah, one is one begotten, one is begotten, and one, and one, begotten, precedes. And one precedes. But they're still all the same. What? Even though one is begotten. In what respect? One precedes. In respect but they're to still, Usia. One second. Uh, yeah, but, in respect but to But they're Usia. still all the same. In respect to Usia. Okay, go on. What does Usia mean for the camera? Yeah, so Usia. Yeah, yeah. It would be translated to nature. Some try to translate it to like essence. So quality for a modern scholastic. Now, here's what the issue. What does nature of it. mean? Let's knowledge nature. 
No, no, not necessarily. Knowledge isn't nature. So, no, knowledge is, is, is eternal. Hold, hold on, this is important, right? Yeah. So, when you say knowledge is nature, I don't think you're making some sort of statement of nature. Of yeah, I wouldn't You know what I mean, Sig? No, I'm on, clarifying. That's why I asked about. you, man. That's is why I asked you. Is knowledge a part of a person's nature? Again, you're trying you're asking you are, me example, to define what nature means, If I say you are all knowing, right? so, if I like, yeah, if this, I say, is, this, example, this is the Sig, point that I'm saying. You don't understand the question. You're, you're, you want Sig, me to answer your question, yeah, so I'm going to answer what nature means, right? So do you want me to answer the question of what nature means? Do you want me to answer the question of what nature means? I'm very calm. The if term say, nature say, means whatness. It's actually identical to quiddity. It's fine. Calm down. So, the term nature means quiddity, right? What a thing is. So, what a thing is can't necessarily be for us Christians. We would say that what God is, right, is... He's not his. all knowing. That's not what he is. No, no, that's... A, See, this is what I'm hold saying. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm just going to answer the question. all knowing. If some, if I'm God just going to answer knowing. the question. Is that that's part fine. of his nature or not? Right. It is part of what he is as well. No, no I'm it, asking you yes. a very clear question. Yeah, that's if what God is all knowing, is that part of his nature yes but there is also certain yes or no okay hold on so there are certain respects you're of skipping which over it and you know the I didn't answer skip over anything. you know the answer i'm just answering the Sig, question for you Sig, is so when yes we no? say that god is all, hold on so when we say that god is his nature right he's Lucia, no, no, god is his nature yes god is his essence is god yes. not his essence who's he if god, god is his, his god is his nature is that what God he is? is his nature yeah godliness you mean is his nature no no god is his nature so when we use the term god that can be in reference to the essence now at the same time right it can also be used in a nominal sense as in to name something and it can also be used in the sense of the actions that god may display in the world now here is the issue at play what are you answering what what are you answering I'm what's answering the question your, yeah what's your, the question on what nature meant that's no, what that's i actually, not what question yeah that's the no, question that we need to inquire my into my question we can't skip over what nature knowing, means man say, don't make up the questions and answer i didn't make up if the you question. make up questions and answering what's that one if you don't my answer, question no, no, if paper, you don't please uh paper. if you don't why are you please the paper if you don't clarify your uh, moderate, a little bit, please, please, please. Because he's a Christian, I'm struggling with this conversation. Why don't you time it? Huh? Okay, we can time it, time it, please. Yeah, time it, yeah. Yeah, so okay. from the yeah I said that but there's no necessary need, right? No, there's um, definitely a need. There's 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 definitely need. Two minutes? Usia is O U S I A. No, no, don't ask him for help. You're the one that made it. No, it's just because I When you put on me and you said, Where is it in the Quran? I gave it to you. When you say, Where is it in the Sunnah? I gave it to you. Hold on. The reason why I. You said, Hold on. The and reason... you put away your phone good seven or seven Yeah, times. because I found one no, of the terms no, no. for you. So the you issue can't that have we have a standard is... for someone and not for yes, yourself. Yes, I have the same standard anyway, applied to my, myself. However, I'm gonna... yeah, let's Hold on, I just, wanted to, I just want to clarify something. Right? Right? So you got two minutes. The only reason I asked Paperboy I'm for the definition, I actually minutes. gave him where he could find it. In the strongest oh, concordance fine. list, the term Usia is found, okay? All I'm doing is just asking Paperboy, could you just hurry up and like find the term Usia in the strongest concordance? That's it, because I know it's there. Now, I also found the term hypostasis. Hypostasis is used in Hebrews 1 verse 3. Now, usually people translate the word hypostasis to substance, but really it's actually more akin to an underlying or concrete reality. That term is used in Nicaea, for example, where it says, um, and he's of the same essence of the Father, that Usia is used, for example. And when, the Cappadoc and when the Cappadocians articulate what it means for Christ to be of the same, you know, um, one of the persons of the Trinity, they use the term hypostasis and use Hebrews 1 verse 3 as their justification, because that is actually part of what they believe. The threeness is in the respect of hypostasis, right? That term in Hebrews 1 verse 3 and in other places in the Bible. Now, I just gave you one of them, and then you tried to do some random thing about why, you know, you don't know who wrote that. Wouldn't matter anyway about oh are we Did you do a minute no, okay exactly. okay you've okay. got one more minute left Oh, right. Yeah, so again, asking me, oh, you don't know who wrote that text has nothing to do with whether the text itself says it. For example, if I find a random book in a forest and it says horses are blue, if I don't know who wrote the book, that's irrelevant to whether that text in the forest says horses are blue. We are talking about whether that text says something, not who wrote that text. That is true. You asked me for my conception in X text, not where did X text come from. It's a random fallacy that you're kind of just trying to sweep in, right? Sort of like a hockey thing, you know what I'm saying? So here's the issue that we now have at hand, okay? And before we conclude, we're going to say this, okay? The conception of the Trinity is all I need to find. I don't need to find the term Trinity in the Bible. The earliest form of the word Trinity is in the words of Theophilus of Antioch in his Adult Telephone, okay? That's actually where it's in 186 AD as well, very early on before the time of Jesus, right towards the end of the second century. And the conception of the Trinity is not just found in scripture, but in the apostolic tradition as well. That is what I'm defending, okay? Not, time, you must believe in the Trinity. Time, time. Sorry, my friend, yeah, go on.
Hebrews 1-3, you said? It's Hebrews 1-3. I'll, I'll find it for you. I'll find no, it's in Hebrews 1-3. 1-3, yeah? 12. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Thank you. Yeah. All right, start okay. starting the clock now. Okay, so, so the request or the demand from Sig was very simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't hard. He made the request from us. Where's the Shahada in, this, in the Quran? I gave him that and I also told him it's in the Sunnah. It's there, it's available. And he didn't back down. He didn't change it. If, if any of the cameras there, he changed his request saying, Oh, no, but I want the wording to be like this and this and that. The Shahada comes in many forms and it's there in the Quran, it's in there in the Sunnah. My request to you was very simple. I say that the Trinity was an idea which referred to the scholars and I gave you the names of scholars as a progressive revelation. Yes, yes, yes. And, and you said, no, there are some scholars and I gave you a list of scholars. Some scholars that say, no, it's not a progressive revelation. If something's not progressive, it means it was there from the very beginning. You said Hillary, the Capedonian fathers. If this Capedonian. is true, you said, this is what you said. So, no interruption. Yeah, no. Oh, so my fault, if, my fault. If, I apologize. Sorry, I have to apologize for the camera because I did interrupt him. Apologies for the interruption. If, if they, they say that this is not progressive revelation, they have to say it's in the Bible. You were given multiple uh, times to give these references and these verses. The one th in regards to the Trinity, the question was clear. Essence and persons in regards to the formulation of the Trinity. Okay. I'll read for you what you mentioned because you didn't read it. It was found in Hebrews. Now the author of Hebrew is unknown. We don't know who the author of Hebrews is. It is not Paul. If, a, if you take your theology from an unknown author, then it does matter. You need to know who your author of your book or your writing, which you claim is revelation is, before you take it. Here, I'll read it. Since you didn't read it. Yeah, yeah. Because remember the Trinity, we gave him the opportunity to explain what the Trinity is. It's one essence in three persons. What there's more? This one is preceded. I'll let him read it. Because one is preceded, one is begotten, and one is uncreated. I'll give you it to read. Go on. Oh, you're going to read it in English? No, you can read it in, okay, in Latin. No, that's no, I don't read the Latin manuscript, it's fine. So it says this, right? So, so I'm going to read the English. Oh, your really? time is now, yeah. Oh, thank you. Hey guys, um, I have two phones. Doesn't necessarily matter, but it's fine, right? I'm going to read it out in English, okay? And then I'm going to hone in on one word. And that's the word that I'm banking on uh, for some reason. Hebrews 1 verse 3 says, The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right majesty, uh, right hand of the majesty in heaven. Now, this is the only time I'm going to allow him to be speaking my time. That word right there that says substance, what does it say? Just it read out for the camera. Substance. You just said no, no, no. In the Greek, right there, see that transliteration. What does yeah. it say? Just read for the camera. Thank you very much. So that word hypostasios is actually the term hypostasis. Right, so the term hypostasis, like you just read, is in the Bible, but obviously it's in Greek, it's not in English, right? The term translated for substance right there, or being, for example, they translate it to hypostasis. It's come to be known as an underlying or concrete reality. Now, my good friend Paperboy over here, he was able to help me, not necessarily help me, because I told him where in the concordance, to find the word usia. The term usia is also mentioned in the Bible. According to the Gospel of Luke, it also says the word usia. All I needed to show was that the terms that I use to describe my conception of the Trinity is in the Bible. Now, I also use the apostolic tradition, um, not limited, um, including but not limited to Basil of Caesarea, Basil the Great, right? Um, Cyril of Alexandria, Cyril of Jerusalem, and his catechetical lectures, which are very important. Um, Athanasius the Great, and other individuals who I can't be bothered to name, and they will come around later. The point of this contention was as follows. So long as I can find the concept in the book I believe in, doesn't matter who wrote that book because that's not what we're talking about. If you want to make an authorship debate, I'm very happy to do that, but that's not the question at topic. I'll refer you to my final example. What? If I find a book over there in those section of trees, and it says, horses are blue, right? Does it matter? Ten seconds. Oh, does it matter if that person, if we know that person wrote it? No. All it matters is that that person, whatever book it is, says horses are blue. That's the actual topic of discussion. And this is what Christianity is in, in a nutshell. You have books written by multiple people in multiple regions, and we don't know who wrote it, when it was written, and to whom it was written. You have Matthew, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We don't know who the authorships of these books are. There are only suppositions about who Mark was to the point that even John. Which, is the, which has the highest Christology, we don't know if it was written by a single person or community. So there are scholars also that mention that John was written by a community of believers. And then the book later was uh, uh, found.
entitled as John. And this is the case with Hebrew. We don't know who wrote the book of Hebrews, but he's still happy to take this as his uh, scripture and say this is my belief. This will not uphold in any core or Islamic sciences as, as well. We need to know in hadith who said what and from who and does it go back to the prophets and that's why the very point that we make is the Trinity never goes back to any of the prophets. Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. He only ever said there's one true God. And if you see also in the uh, Hebrew that he mentioned, he also mentioned that there is one God, one true God. And okay. there's one mediator between man and God. And that mediator is Jesus. So you have God and then you have the medi mediator. So you are there telling me what waiting. some unknown author said. Read the author properly. Yeah. Not one single author of the New Testament their theology is in line with Trinitarian theology. Okay. John does not hold your theology. Oh. Mark does not hold your theology. Oh. Luke does not hold your the theology. Okay. None of them do. Mark has the lowest Christology. John, which is the latest written in Ephesus, has the highest Christology. And not only that, it calls, it calls Jesus the Logos. And yeah. the funny thing is, if the original author originally put this word there, Logos, yeah. why didn't all the other people before, G uh, before Mark write about Jesus being a Logos? Because, they because this Jesus. idea came many, many years after. Oh. It would make no sense Sorry. if Jesus was a Logos, that he wasn't mentioned as a God before that. Sorry. Sorry. Thanks, man. Just, just to clarify something, guys. Sorry, no. Okay, just to clarify something, guys. I'm going to have to speak very quickly because we're on a timer, okay? So. Remember back in them times, remember that he asked me whether I can find the term Usia and whether I can find the term hypostasis in the Bible. Now, if you want my source, you have my very good man here who provided the term hypostasis because he read it out for you guys. And we also provided the term Usia. So just for you to jump in quickly, was the term hypostasis and Usia in the Bible? What was my question? In, in the Bible. What was my question? Yeah, what are those terms in the Bible? What was no? That's in regards to the question. Trinity. Yeah. You, keep, you change it. Yeah, in regards, regards to the Trinity. To the Trinity and yeah. you keep putting that statement so, up. Okay, cool. You so keep on dropping it and you do that's it on fine. purpose. That's fine. This is like the third or fourth time. I just, I just I asked you whether those words were yeah, in the Bible. But, yeah, but that's not what my, uh, what's my original question. Just answer whether they're in the Bible. What's yes or no? my original question? Are they in the Bible? It doesn't matter. What's my original question? Okay, so they're in the Bible. So, you see, you have to you have to define In regards to the Trinity, let's define for you guys what I believe the Trinity is. The Trinity is a doctrine that maintains as follows. That God is one in Usia, which is translated as substance or essence, uh, depending on necessarily whether you're a Greek or Latin father. And that God is three in hypostasis, which is a concrete or underlying reality. Now, if I take the term hypostasis or hypostasis, that must be in regards to one of those hypostases. In Hebrews 1 verse 3, it says that the Son is the character of the Father's hypostasis, meaning the exact image of the Father's hypothesis, which is one of the very core doctrines of Trinitarian belief. One of the core doctrines of Trinitarian belief is that the Son's hypostasis, right, is of the same essence or the exact representation of the Father's hypostasis. That's basic tr Trinitarian belief. Now, I've shown you that in regards to the Trinity. The term usia is being used for substance or being or existence in certain respects. If I can show you that that term means what I've just said, Ten then seconds. I can apply it to the Trinitarian life, I can apply it to the Trinitarian notion, and actually my opponent would have nothing else to say on that issue, which is why he's changing it to a historical debate. Time. Yeah, my question has always been the same from the beginning. I haven't changed it to historical anyway. So anyway, in regards to nature, I asked you what does nature mean? I mm. asked you clear in front of the cameras and the person here. Yeah. Are you going to keep on interrupting? Uh, I was going to answer Okay, it. let's be a bit polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, yeah, nature is all-knowing part of nature. Yeah. And you knew the answer, no. You knew what the answer was, but you fumbled because you knew you didn't want to admit it. To have knowledge is part of a person's knowledge, uh, nature. If yes. I say you are all-knowing, then that's part of your nature. Yeah. Jesus did not have this part of the nature. He said he grew in knowledge. When he was asked yeah. in regards to the fig tree, he did not know the season. Okay. So when he was asked about the last hour, he did not know. He said, no man knoweth the hour, apart from God the Father. Okay. Even if you would say, okay, he humbled himself, what about the Holy Spirit? Yeah. The only one who knows the last hour is God the Father. Okay. The Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity. Why does he not know the last hour? Did he also submit himself? Why did he submit himself? Did he humble himself? 
Well, we've asked about these words that they use for the Trinity and we haven't found the answer in regards to the Trinity. I did. When we say the Son, the Son to who? The Father, both of yeah. eternal. How can you have two beings who are eternal? And one is being called son, and one is being called father. It makes no sense. If both have the same beginning, one cannot what? be under the other. What What does son even mean if you have two eternals? If all of I them are spirit, that. before Jesus came to earth, he was a spirit. The spirit is spirit, and God is a spirit. Why do you call only one of them a spirit, yeah. and the other ones you don't call a spirit? Okay. Well, if, well, if there were all three of them, if all three of them are equal, why yeah. is it that one proceeds from the other? One is begotten, and one is uncreated. These are core things that make up a nature of a thing. If I say you are unbegotten, and I say you are begotten, these are two differences in nature. Uh, this is the... No, it's not. So it's a difference in uh, hyperspaces. Uh, okay, cool. So as you can see, he's basically just moving to either a logical debate or a debate on the history of the Trinity. I have sufficed to be able to show you the conception of the words that I use in regards to one of the conceptions of the Trinity that I showed you in the Bible. So let's attack what necessary. There is there. no hour. It's sa'a. Sa'a means time. And uh, Borat will be this. Uh, 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 the hour are lies. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm rude, but Christians that guy. Lie. But it's kind of, no, I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not. Look, I don't know why I put my arm around you. I just felt comfortable. But look, so what I'm gonna do now is basically. Should we? Should we? Is that one is just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know when you want to discuss as well. Yeah. yeah. If you feel okay. you're on the jump. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, this is Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, cool. So, what I'm going to present to you now is how a text is meant to be understood. So we have a book, that's fine, but we also are going to inquire into how that book is meant to be understood in Christian tradition. I'm going to show you one of the bishops of Alexandria who has apostolic confession back to St. Mark himself specifically, who actually explicates on this doctrine, specifically on Jesus growing in wisdom. So, it says this, to say that the child grew, this by the way is in Sermon 5 of Cyril of Alexandria's commentary on the gospel of luke it says this to say that the child grew and grew strong in spirit being filled with wisdom and the grace of god was upon him must be taken as referring to his human nature because we believe in the hypostatic union christ is one in hypostasis that is true but he is also two in feces or nature there are two feces of christ one divine and one human and the hypostasis does actions according to each so when it says that the Christ grew in wisdom, he did those actions in accordance to his humanity. However, Cyril, but because this commentary is very long as you can see, um, provides another understanding of how this is supposed to be understood. That, and it's very important, that as Jesus Christ in his humanity grew up, he showed more of his divine self, of who he was as God, of who he was as the Lamb of God and so on. So much so to the point that when Jesus Christ finally did die on the cross, a pagan centurion was able to say, this man truly was the son of God because he was enlightened and had his eyes opened by Jesus. Now, what I've been able to show is an adequate understanding of how that text is meant to be understood. Second of all, um, in my next response time, I will go into actually the eunomian premise that this guy tries to substantiate with actually no evidence. I'm so sorry, man. I wasn't able to... So I mentioned son, I mentioned the meaning of father, I mentioned the meaning of uh, spirit. You said that these weren't theological things, which is strange. Which Didn't is strange, that. yeah. You said that. historical, I'm um, told, yeah. told. It's a theological that. thing. This is the crux of your Trinity definition. Really? What is the Father? What is the Son? What is the Spirit? What does the word mean proceeded from? What does the word mean begotten? What does the word mean unbegotten? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me these aren't theological. These are theological concepts which are found within your Trinity. Okay. You are unable up until now to show us what I requested from you in the beginning. You spoke a whole load. You spoke about this and, and you, you used all of these theological terms. Your language, oh, wow, it's amazing. But you Thanks, haven't man. substantiated. <laughs> you haven't substantiated anything. I did. Even in my last point, you can't tell us what Trinity is or even nature. Nature, you can't tell us. Knowledge is part of nature. If you want me to not, respond to that first? If, if, well, let me finish. That's fine. Yeah? If you can't tell me what nature is, you can't tell me what Trinity is. 
Okay. That's it, and that's the difficulty. You don't go around preaching the Trinity, and you know that the scholars of your Christianity yeah, say it is a mystery. Yeah. If it's a mystery for you, it's a mystery for all non-Christians. You mean modern You eclectics? cannot tell us what these definitions are because I I've did. read what the scholars say, and they say this you is what, what it means said. about with the word mystery. The Trinity is a mystery, and it's the way to cover your eyes from actually understanding that this makes no sense. Jesus was very clear, there's only one God. All of the prophets before him, there was only one God. The, the companions came to Jesus' companions, the apostles, he's talking about the Apostles' Creed, came to him and said, I did not they said, the what do, excuse me, excuse me, uh, excuse me, stop that. it. Stop. I'm sorry, he, I just didn't talk it, about that, that's my sick, fault. Sick. Yeah, but don't say that I talked about something I didn't talk about. You said the you say the... I said apostolic tradition, not the Apostles' Creed. What are you talking about? Apostolic, what does apostolic mean? What? What does apostolic mean? In pertaining to the Apostles? Apostles, thank you. So when did I say Apostles' Creed? Tell me. You Thank you. That anyway, so you, you didn't actually say Apostles' Creed, you stop, waffled see, about something. Stop, stop, you're just making, yeah, yourself, you're saying stuff you're making, you're you're making yourself look silly. Ah, I see, you're I see. You're making yourself silly. And you're lying on no, me. No, no, I'm not. Yes, it's there on camera. Yeah, yeah, the, the camera people are smart that I never said. Sick. The people, the people on camera will know I never said Apostles' Creed. If you're going to appeal to me being like angry, I'm not. Sick, calm down. I'm completely fine. I'm completely fine. I'll let you speak. I'm completely fine. Just don't lie on me, please. People, boy, can you can you jump in? I can't continue like this. So you don't want to talk to me anymore? No, I can't. I can't. It's because I'm bearable. Just continue, man. I'm unbearable. It's okay. It's okay. Let's make this a lot. I'll give him the last two minutes and no. Well, another two minutes, two minutes, and now I'm gonna stop it. Yeah, this is going nowhere. Jesus, the people oh, came to Jesus. I'll stop my drink. Yeah, yeah. But he's gonna speak over. Don't worry, I won't speak. I won't speak. You, you, you haven't been able to not I, do I that. I won't speak over you. It's fine. Carry yeah, exactly. So when the people came to Jesus, so Jesus so said, nah, fine, "Who do you say I am?" They said they didn't. They said you are you 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 are uh, you you are the prophets. You are Moses. You are this and that. Not one of them said you are God. This is what the apostles believe. When Jesus apparently died according to you, the ones in Acts, the 120 believers, they prayed only to one God. Read James where he said, the devil worships one God, good, even we worship, sorry, you worship one God, good, even the devil worships one God. This is the testimony of James who is supposed to be apostle to Jesus, the one that held the council of Nicaea. He was the head of the apostles. James, the brother of Jesus, he worshipped only one God. Can I clarify and you read, no, okay. no. Because you're not on time, so I just wanted to clarify. Something. Okay, okay. So, okay. so let me finish. I'll oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, just yeah? on James and Nicaea. Just really yeah, sure. Up. Let me just finish, and yeah. then I'll give it to you. Yeah. So you read. In fact, uh, they were referred to as the Jesseans, the early Christians. Uh, after the period of period, yeah. Uh, the no, Essies. no, no. no the are the see, Jews. this is what happens when you you're try to laugh. The, um, yeah? No. See, again, this is what they don't know, you know, you don't know and you're trying to laugh Jesseans. and mock it, but it comes back to you. They're originally called Jesse because Jesse is the son of uh, David and they took this name from Jesse, the uh, thing, okay, David's son, yeah? Jesseans, yeah? And they were, uh, were uh, the companions of Jesus were originally referred to as Jesseans. Epiphanius of Salomon says this uh, in his Paneros. Now, Jesseans later became as, as the Nazareans. Yeah? And they later become the Ebionites. And these people have a tradition which goes back to Jesus saying what? Worship only one God. And all of them were Jews and Jesus was a Jew. And if Jesus saw you worshipping to him, he would not know what you're doing. He would say you're doing blasphemy. And that's the truth. If Jesus was here right now, praying to God like how the Bible said he does, yeah, on his face, if any one of these Christians saw him, they would not pray to him, rather they would join Jesus and pray with Jesus to the one true God which Jesus has always spoke about and all of the messengers before Jesus. And you see that God says that in the Old Testament, even Jesus says it in the New Testament. And this is what we say as Muslims in the Quran. Okay, cool. So you made a, a bundle of necessary like errors. So the first no, error that I would... Thanks, are, you, are you camera? Are you cameraman or are you debater? You make you make Christian and you make Hold on. Story. Hey, bro, it's all right, man. Like what? So the first. Are you, are you, we're talking. So I want to point out the first error that I feel I seen. I see that you may have made. So the first error that you seem to have made was associating uh, Saint James the Just with uh, the Council of Nicaea. I don't know if you're going to retract that. 
But uh, yeah, James had just had no partaking in the Council of Nicaea. As we know, James died in the first century. The Council of Nicaea was in 325. There was a prior council in 321 that was hosted in Alexandria where they did kick out areas. 325 was just confirming what the world already is. Now, the issue that... Just still nah, it's okay. I'm I'll give him the... Yeah, it's fine word, isn't it? But, me, but right? James is the bro he, he is the one that held the Council of Nicaea when he called Port. Just you know that. No, sorry, huh? sorry, Council, yeah, Jerusalem, sorry, Jerusalem, sorry, 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 thank sorry, thank you, thank you so much. Jerusalem, thank yeah, you. Yeah. But you know what I'm talking about, you pretend Now I know what you're talking okay. about. I genuinely so it's the same it James, it's the same James. Yeah? James the Just He was an apostle. He was, he was an apostle. Okay, thank you. So James the Just did hold the Council of Jerusalem, but that had nothing to do with Trinitarian theology because that wasn't actually a pertinent issue. The pertinent issue wasn't on the being of God, it was actually on converting to the faith. That's not what we say. That's Why you keep that's going right. on to other things? I didn't interrupt you. Uh, yeah, but the thing, that's so the only time you did. You've interrupted no, me. I've interrupted you all the time, so yeah. I'm going to finish, right? So but it's got nothing to do. You keep walking about every other subject. This. So when we talk about what the essence of God... What is he talking about? Yeah, we'll just let him finish. Yeah, okay. Let him finish. okay, so cool. So when we talk about right God with his essence and God with his nature, right? You want to talk about whether um, you know knowledge is part of nature. I accept that knowledge is part of what it is to be God. That is fine. However, the term no that is used, for example, in Matthew 24, verse 36, doesn't necessarily mean an intellectual ascent of position. It can mean that, but it isn't always strict to that case. Case in point, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2 is a verse that is used by Paul, and he says the same word, oiden, which is the Greek word for no, I did not know anything among you except for Christ and him crucified. Now that term is used as a declarative verb to say that, that Paul did not preach anything or declare anything except Christ and him crucified. So it is very well within the biblical scope to actually say that the term know that is used in Matthew 24, 36 is actually used as a declarative verb. Also, we could say that even if it's used for this intellectual ascent of proposition, Basil the Great, again in his letter 236, he also details exactly how this term is meant to be understood. That the Father is, because he is the first apostate of the Trinity, he would be the first good or the first one to know and pass that eternally, hypothetically to the Son. That is the way that the verse can also be understood. Again, Athanasius of Alexandria also gives a third understanding of how this is to be understood, that it is referring to Christ's humanity principally. Augustine confirms this when he talks about the canonical rule that Christians in his day and in the days before have used for scripture as well. Now, here's the issue that you also said about um, what it means to be unbegotten, what it means to be begotten, and what it means to be perceived. There was a slight fumble that you made with the words that you tried to say that you kind of switched out the word unbegotten for uncreated, and I would disagree, right? Because just because you are begotten, it does not necessarily mean that you are created. Uh, to, in order to be created, you would to need to change it. What does unbegotten mean for you? Yeah. Uh, unbe mean? Unbegotten is identical to the term unoriginal, i.e. There, no, um, uh, there is no other underlying reality that is so responsible for your existence. So if I say it's not original, okay, so what does that mean? Uh, uncreated, yes? Uncreated, okay. So if someone is responsible for you, if that something, means if, some, if, something so is, if something is the reason for your subsistence, it does not mean that your subsistence itself is created. There is no philosophical justification for that, unless you are arguing from this weird neoplatonic. So so you check the definition of begotten. You check it. Yeah. Yeah. The definition yeah. of begotten is that has it to is be also by created. It yes. is also some created. people that are. Some people that are. Is that well, okay? Well, are you finished? Finished? Because, isn't it? No, I no? wasn't finished. You, you, I know, of course, course not. I wasn't finished, right? I'll, I'll so speak the, to yeah, you after so this. The, so the term. You, you, yeah. So the term. Be, so the term begotten. Right. You, you, you see, you speak to me. No, no, but it's no point. It's no point. You can speak. You can speak. I want to speak. Yeah, yeah, but you know what you mean, man? Yeah, it's cut me every yeah, single time. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah, thing is, every time, it's, it's just going to change the topic in the speech. Done, so. When did I change yeah, the topic? Okay. What, <laughs> you talked about the no, council no, no. of here, what the purpose was, the it. council of Jerusalem, what the purpose was. No, that's not what I said. I said James, James proceeded over that. Because the reason he proceeded over the council of Jerusalem, no, see, that's what I'm saying. Every time I speak, he speaks, I don't know if he's got five, five. No, 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 but every time I've spoken, Spoken over every single yeah, time. Yeah, but let me. And, let me and it's like it's in this, this weird sarcasm you no, got going on. Okay, no, but I'll, I'll, okay, finish in the camera. So, so, when you're saying unbegotten, right, this is a eunomian premise, right? Eunomius was a eunomius, because he tried to argue that unbegotten is identical to the term unbegotten, because Christ is begotten, he is created. Now, the church fathers clarified that the term begotten 
in scripture has a dual usage. It can mean begotten in the sense of having given birth to in a created fashion, and there's a variant in that insofar as when it's applied to the son. But the term monogenes, which means only begotten, right? Monogenes, that means of your own kind or of your I'm own. I'm not talking about only, only begotten. Yeah. Begotten birth. Yeah, the term begotten, begotten in application to the son simply is a term that we Christians use yeah. to designate the procession of the son from the father. Okay, okay. See, well, that doesn't do make any creation. sense. That, Why does that unbegotten is used as the de de designation for the procession of the father. Son. You no, have of a, the son from uh, the father. Okay, what does procession mean? Procession? Yeah, what does procession mean? Well, depending you on what saying? procedure. One meaning of one word depends on another word, and that word depends yeah. on the meaning so, of another okay, word. So and you end up with this airy-fairy. There's, airy -fairy. No, there's no definition. I was going to tell you the definition of the term procedure. Are you going to talk over? Well, you interrupted me. Okay, look, look. Yeah, you tried to ask me a question. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is... That's just where I'm you not listening. Just, bro, you're, you're not, not just listening. trying to leave the conversation. No, because I want to speak the same because way. You because you had to stop talking I've always had good discussions with him. That's great. With you, throughout this whole discussion, you've, been you've managed to listen. Even, even now, I'm not listening. Yeah, Finish what you're saying, and then I'm going to speak to you. Okay, so again, so I'm begotten this again, right? If you want to talk about begotten, it means in a way that some proceeds is a procession can be so Okay, look, look, I'm going I'm to talk to you. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. No, but I'm really sorry. Yeah, yeah, you listen to him. When you're finished, you speak to me.